Namaste. Hi there. Today I'm looking at a website called hindibasha.com. Basha is language, so hindilanguage.com, effectively. Um, I'll put the link in the description below this video. So this is basically designed in 2001. You need Flash Player to use it. So I'm just going to click on here to use the Devanagari Script Tutor. Now with this, the script tutor is actually made to help people that were using the beginner's Hindi script books by Rupert Schnell and teach yourself Hindi book by Rupert Schnell and Simon Waitman. So um, a couple of times in this script tutor, you'll see BHS, which means beginner's Hindi script, and TYH for teach yourself Hindi. You don't need those books to learn the Hindi script from these. But if you have them, it just has a reference to those books as you go through it. You've got to consonants, first of all. So we have an introduction. So it talks about how Devanagari consonants do not have special names like the English K for K, but are known simply by the sounds they represent, followed by a vowel. I've heard before that uh, Hindi is actually a syllabary, classed as a syllabary rather than an alphabet, because it's it sounds exactly like the letters. Like A in English is an R sound or an R sound, depending where it is. But Hindi is written the same way it sounds. Um, so Ka is Ka, Da is Da. So with um, the Hindi consonants, they have an A sound, an inherent A sound in them. So Ka and Da. So it's basically K and A, Ka. Then you have D and A is Da. So this goes into some detail on the consonants. Then if we look at these ones here, these first five, if we click on one, we see it written out in front of us. We see it drawn out. Now if you want to see that again, you click the pencil. If you want to hear how this word sounds, click on the speaker. Car. Car. We now have uh, a male speaker using it. Ka, kamra. In a sentence, so it says ka, then kamra, for room. Ka, kebab. So if you click on the pink, you then get a lady saying the ka sound and then giving it an example. I don't know what this does here at the bottom. Not figured that one out yet. If anybody knows, let me know. And we can do this with all of them. We can see them all drawn as many times as we need to, and we can all hear how they sound. So with consonants, it's got all the consonants there. With vowels, again, we can do the same here. We can see them drawn out, and we can hear their sounds. So with vowels, they show us that vowels have more than one form, depending where they are in a word. If they're at the beginning, like R, it could be this um, backwards three with the two lines. If it's in the middle of um, a word, it's just a straight line. With uh, E, it's, it looks like this S, whereas um, in the word Hindi, for instance, it's written this way here. So you just have to spend some time going through this and getting to, to know how, how they work. Read the introduction of each one, and then just write each one out several times. Listen to their sounds as well. So on here, you've got um, conjuncts. So again, you've got a introduction. So most conjuncts, when they join together, you can still see the first letter, so you've got the ka and the ya. So kya um, here, that's an a on the end. That's the r, the long r we saw. So it's the ka, ya, and r together. Kya. Ga, ya. Then they've made the word gyara with the ra and r again. So on here, you can still see the G and the Y in this uh, conjunct here. You can still see the 
ch and the ch in butcha here. But some conjuncts, they take on a completely new shape when they come together. So we've got sh, r, it becomes a completely new shape. to become sh, sh oh sorry, shri. And then um, with the uh, bari iki matra, which is the ongi sound to make shri. So on here they say, for a full introduction and listing of Hindi conjuncts, see... Uh, Beginner's Hindi Script, page 51, or Teach Yourself Hindi, 34. So if you've got those books, they've got more information on it there. You can also try out what they call the conjunct engine. So this shows how different letters come together. So we've got K and K. K and K. K and G. So you can change these around to see how they look. So with that, you've got the introduction, you've got the conjunct engine, and then you've got how they're all drawn and how they sound. Tests. With these tests, you can test your ear. Basically, you click on them. Then you click test. Uh. Ra. So you then click on the correct uh, letter. Extra. So there's dotted consonants. So some of these sounds, they're not found in Sanskrit, but you will see them um, in Hindi. Um, it says they're not found in Sanskrit, but they are found in Hindi. I mean, this is the whole reason we've come to it, really, is to help us with Hindi script. Sometimes if you see a word like um, Akbar, which is a word for newspaper, there's Samchar as well, but there's Akbar. Sometimes this dot is just omitted, omitted completely, other times it's put in there. So we've got the numbers. These are the Hindi numbers. Which I always forget. I only remember that three looks very much like a three. <laughs> so, um, oh, a nine kind of looks a bit like a nine. Um, so it just goes through each one here. So this is it in its written form as well. So... Got ek one, do two, teen, and so on. Nasal vowels. So um, I always forget what this is called. It's called a chandra bindu. This is this shape that appears above. Sometimes it's just drawn as a dot. So when you see uh, the word kaha for where, it has this chandra bindu above the uh, the R sound. So it looks like Kahan, but the N is like a uh, nasal eye, so it's Kaha. So this would be Ka, Ka, Kung, Kung. And then you've got it with Ki, Ki, and Ke, and so on. So you have it there as well. Okay, so... It's worth having a look at, um, you know, to, to see how to do the shapes. One thing I'd say is on these, they show how to do the shape, and they always do the line on there. I find that most Hindi writers, they'll do the line afterwards, or they just have the, um, the letters hanging two-thirds of the way down from the top to the next line. And lots of people, they don't even put the line in there. If you look at Gujarati, which looks similar to Hindi, it doesn't have the line across the top. And lots of people who write Hindi freestyle that I've seen, they omit the line as well. So it looks like Gujarati, but it's not Gujarati, it's Hindi. But anyway, if you're looking for a way to, to learn how to write Hindi online, it's worth having a look at. Okay, take care, and I'll come back soon with some more Hindi resources. Bye,